Time travel. Everyone's favorite sci-fi topic. I mean, look at the books, comics, Hollywood movies, and many, many other things. You can say time travel is the coolest scientific topic to talk about. It is cool to imagine yourself traveling in time to past or the future. It is actually useful when you know you can travel to the late 2000s and buy bitcoins, or traveling back to the 70s and invest in Microsoft. Imagine going to the casino with your time machine. How cool would that be? You can also use time travel as a life savior by fixing a mistake you or somebody else committed which really affected your life. Which, to be honest, it is more psychological. But is it really that simple to affect your future by changing the past? If you killed yourself in the past, how did you even get there? Or in short, is time travel even possible? Well, we'll talk about it now. Well, in order to answer this question, we must know what are the physical issues you are going to face while time traveling. The first one, the paradoxes. Paradox is a bizarre and complex position of something which evolves in an infinite cycle for a specific event. In time travel, the most famous paradox is the grandfather paradox. Simply, imagine yourself creating a time machine and going back to kill your grandpa. Killing your grandpa means your dad not getting born, therefore you wouldn't exist too, which means no time machine. But if there's no time machine, that means no one traveling to the past to kill your grandfather. So your grandfather will remain alive, and your dad will be born, therefore you will be born too, which you will be inventing the time machine and the cycle will be repeated. Have you ever watched Dark? I'll shut down this channel if you could explain it to me without stuttering. So you see, getting trapped in this kind of cycle is that kind of problems we're gonna face with time travel. Sometimes time travel paradoxes are not in interacting with a person. Picking a flower, walking, or even breathing can affect the future, which is also known as the butterfly effect. But the butterfly effect doesn't seem to be that serious, cause if you change the past, why the future, which is my present, haven't changed? 2. Second Law of Thermodynamics The second law of thermodynamics states that the heat is transferred from one body to another body only if the two bodies have different temperatures. It could also mean that hot things always cool unless you do something to stop them. It expresses a fundamental and simple truth about the universe which recognizes the disorder or the entropy as an increase in quantity. But what does all this have to do with time travel? Well. Time travel violates the second law of thermodynamics, which is state that entropy and randomness must always increase. In conclusion, time can only move in one direction, and you cannot unscrumble the egg. More specifically, by traveling into the past, we are going from now with a high entropy state into the past which must have lower entropy state. Since Albert Einstein discovered the theory of relativity which described the nature of time, space, and gravity, it became our most profound theory of time and it made time travel forbidden for us. One day, one of Albert Einstein's colleagues, Kurt Gödel, invented a universe not only time travel is possible in it, but also the past and the future were inextricably tangled. But it seems like this idea didn't really work well because we know Albert and we don't know Kurt. We can't design time machines or even create a complete theories with a whole time travel background. But most of these successful proposals require negative energy or negative mass which don't seem to exist in our universe. If you lose an arrow with a negative mass, the arrow will go upwards. Mathematical physicist Frank Tepler once proposed a time machine that does not involve negative mass but requires more energy than exists in the universe. You should be reminded that traveling to the past might be impossible, but traveling to the future is actually possible. According to the relativity, if one of the two twin brothers traveled to the space at the speed of light, and the other remains on Earth, after 10 years not only they have a huge age difference, but the astronaut brother will look like he never aged because of course he was traveling at the speed of light. Plus, if you are in the black hole's event horizon, 
you will observe the evolution of the universe and its time lapse to the future, which, to be honest, it will be the last thing you will ever see. Velocity creates the opportunity for you to travel to the future, and there are no specific laws that disagree with this action. Theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking suggested that a chronology protection conjecture must exist. It originates from the idea that we cannot know what goes on the inside of the black hole because we cannot get information out of it, which bizarrely means we cannot time travel because we cannot time travel. Researchers are investigating a more fundamental theory where time and space emerge from something else. This is referred to as quantum gravity, but unfortunately it does not exist yet. So, is time travel possible? Probably not. For now. There are some questions though. For example, if we increase our velocity, it will slow down until it stops at the speed of light. What happens if we traveled faster than the speed of light? Will the time go backward? Speaking of black holes, if black hole singularity is timeless, then how did it form? Well, we will leave these topics for another video. Until that day, do not stop wondering and be curious.